Take me out for some hot dogs. All right, I'm back in West Virginia, another rough and rowdy. This time, I'm in, we're in Huntington, or just outside of Huntington, in a town called The Shade. Now, this place is considered to be the best hot dog spot in the whole state of West Virginia. It's been on Diners, Drivers, and Dives with Guy Fieri. It's been on the Travel Channel. This place has become like a tourist trap in the middle of hillbilly country in West Virginia. And that's why it's called Hillbilly Hot Dogs, you see? And this place lives up to the kitsch of the hillbilly experience. You got old uh, cars, hubcaps, and some things that look like they're out of a horror film. But are the hot dogs good? You see? Because these hot dogs were among the most memorable episodes of Diners, Drivers, and Dies. Guy Fieri liked them. The Travel Channel approved them. But they have not yet been raw dog. Let's see how these dogs go. I think some people still have this phone up here. Ready? Yes. All right, what can I get for ya? All right, I want one hot dog, clean, nothing on it at all. Okay, just bun and waiting. Yes. Gotcha. I want one with the uh, chili. Okay. I'm gonna try this pizza dog. Pizza dog. Uh, I'll have a corn dog. Okay. Uh, let me see. I'll uh, also have a order of fries. Gotcha. And uh, let me see. Uh, I'll take a, a two diet coke drink. And two diet cokes. Is that everything for you? Yes. All right. Let's grab those drinks. This place was opened up in 1999 by Sonny and Sherry Knight. Sonny Knight grew up in these hills. Sherry's from California, and together they have built a hot dog place that's been a legend. You know, they've been reviewed by everyone under the sun. And they just come back, and keep coming back to this place that's just riddled with just hillbilly culture as they have turned it tongue in cheek and they've become so popular that people just come here when coming to West Virginia, know that they have to stop here. But the most important thing is how are these hot dogs? And you know what else they have? They have something called a Widowmaker, which is like a two pound hot dog that's covered in four pounds of condiments. Now, of course, I'm gonna stick with the normal dogs because that's what I review, but maybe one day I'll come back and I'll try to tackle the Widowmaker or the Homewrecker. Of course, I have to try to find ways to still keep it a raw dog, but what you want to know is how the hot dogs taste. And that's what we're going to do right now. I'm just put a little salt on my fries. All right, we got four dogs here. Let's see. Okay, this looks like, yeah, this is the raw dog. All right, they got the hot dog. It looks like an ordinary, like, steamed cooked hot dog. Bun to dog ratio is average. Now we'll see how the hot dog actually tastes. <laughs> Joe, Larry, and Francie. You guys ready? Joe, Larry, and Francie. <laughs> I'm going to give this hot dog... I'm going to give this hot dog a triple. It will nearly be a double. But the kitsch helps bring it up a little bit. I mean, you're here surrounded by all this craziness. I think it deserves a little bit extra. So we'll call it a double where someone dared the, the, the outfielder to throw him out, and he couldn't throw him out. So it's a triple. All right, let's see what type of dog this is. All right, this is the chili dog. Let's we'll see how that tastes. Once again, bun dog ratio is decent. It's 
It's not weird, uh, it's not bad, it's not great, but we'll see how the taste rates. Larry and Joe, we got you ready. Larry and Joe. All right, the chili is middling. I'm gonna give it a double. All right, here's something interesting. They call this a pizza dog. It's got pizza sauce, shredded cheese, and fried pepperoni. Now, they don't use mozzarella, and the cheese is a little skimpy. No, 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 no. Pizza sauce is bad. You call it a you call it pizza dog. Where's the mozzarella? Where's the mozz? You put just a little bit of cheese. Not a lot. You put a little bit of cheese. I mean, when I was at another hot dog place, there was so much cheese it was actually falling on other dogs. There were more there was more cheese that fell off the dog on the other dogs than they've actually put on this. Now, when you're uh, in West Virginia and you think about hillbillies, you can't help but think about corn dogs. And that's why I have here a corn dog. Now, it looks like they're uh, a little underdone. Not this brown, this uh, not as crunchy as I would normally like. I'll give it a double. It's a solid, solid corn dog. Man, they also have their own song. And they say if you can memorize it, you get a free ice cream pump. Well, here we go. Let's see. Sonny's the weenie man. He owns a weenie stand. He sells the best weenies around. Ding, ding, ding. Sherry is his wife. She adds a spice. That's right. Him, Billy, hot dogs day or night. Ding, ding, ding. Yeehaw! And if you remember that, you might get a free ice cream cone. Fries. I'll give him a. I'll give him a solid 7.9. All right, one of my favorite things coming down from Rowdy is seeing my little friends here. You know, they always uh, put on a show when they come down to Rowdy. Uh, you know, by the time you see this, we'll probably be at the next Rough and Rowdy. And so always get Rough and Rowdy. You go to bar by rnr.com and you get to see these guys in action. And, and it's, it's always fun. Just like going raw dog. And this place here, Hillbilly Hot Dogs. If you come here, you're not really coming for the hot dogs. Let me tell you. The hot dogs are marginal, marginal. But the experience is one of a kind. So you gotta come here just to try the experience. You get to see the nightmare fuel that hangs all around. And leave your name. Just like, you can leave a like, comment down below where I should go next. Also, click subscribe. And buy this shirt. You can buy the dish shirt, you can buy the classic shirt, you can buy the road shirt. Because you always want to leave your name that you've been raw dogging. So keep raw dogging. And I'll see you down the road.
that legitimately caught me off guard. Oh, man. This is the stuff of nightmares. This is the stuff of nightmares. Take me out for some hot dogs. Get me one that's only plain. No mustard or horror ketchup. I'll know what the dog is really about and it's hope that this is a good one. Maybe a home run or a double. But if it sucks, it will be a strikeout and not worthy of my taste buds. <laughs> On the road again. Gee, I can't wait to get on the road again. Going to all dogging places that I've never been. And I can't wait to get on the road again. You don't have to wait for me to get on the road again. You can order this nice new shirt, raw dogging on the road. And when I'm on the road again, you better believe I'll be carrying this shirt with me. You can get it right now at the Barstool store.